What happens to fish when they encounter an underwater volcano? What happens to fish when a volcano rains down ash and fire? Well, those are the type of questions that I had and there was an answer, the power of science. I wrote an article about the impacts of submerged volcanoes on fish on newsforjacks.com. Take a look, you can see some pictures like this, kind of freaky, right? You can see that the stomach of these fishes become inverted, the eyes pop out. It's kind of a bad scene for fish, but it was a first of a kind study where it wasn't just an underwater volcano, but also a volcano on land, both in the Canary Islands. And they compared the two type of impacts that those volcanoes had on fish. Obviously the underwater volcano had more damage, more mortality to the fish. It included the changes in the biology and the chemistry, the chemistry of the seawater. It became more acidic. It became warmer by about 30 degrees warmer and the pressure decreased. Any people that have actually gone out fishing and caught grouper deep below, they know that those fish, when they bring them up to the surface can go through a bear trauma, uh, bear, bear trauma. It's when the, the pressure expands and they kind of bulge out and their stomachs can become inverted. And that same ha process happens when lava spreads across the seafloor. But with the other types of volcanoes, well here you can see some of the pictures in the study of all the fish that are at the edge of a lava flow. And that's another type of volcano, one that you would find if you ever went to the big island of Hawaii. Uh, and here's a picture of that lava flowing out into the ocean. This type of volcano over land sent a lot of ash into the air. The ash then goes into the water and dissolves and those particulates uh, clog up some of the gills uh, of these fish that are close to that lava flowing into the ocean and a lot of the fish suffocated. So kind of bizarre story, right? Sure, but that's the type of stuff that I try to seek out here on newsforjacks.com. If you want to read all about it, you can check out our weather stories and also a few nuggets of science here and there.